Good morning and happy new year, you guys. So, today is Thursday, January 5th, I believe. Um, <laughs> today, it is supposed to snowstorm. We're supposed to have a winter snowstorm today. Starting in 30 minutes. <laughs> um, and if you live in Tennessee, then you know the people in Tennessee go berserk when it's supposed to snow because our snow is not like snow, not like the powdery, fresh snow you can step on. It's usually ice and it's black ice so people can't drive on the road and people we get stuck in the house. So people usually panic and go to the stores and buy everything. So yesterday, we went to Walmart to get some groceries and we didn't do it because of the snowstorm. We went because it was time to get groceries and we was gonna wait until the weekend. But because it's supposed to be a snowstorm and we might be stuck in the house, we might, we went. I just wanna know, why do people buy milk and bread when it's supposed to storm, when you're gonna be stuck in the house, quarantine? Why is that the first thing people buy? Because my thing, if it's a storm, snowstorm, blah, 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 milk and bread will be the first thing that goes bad. Especially if your electric go out, where are you going to put, put the milk at? It's going to spoil. So if you want to buy something that's going to last you for a long time, if you get stuck in the house, you should buy non-perishable items like canned goods. I just don't understand why people buy milk and bread. I wish I would have pulled out my camera last night to show you guys how the owl looked with the bread and milk and stuff like it was gone it was empty somebody posted it on facebook if i could find it i would post a picture but it was empty you guys i posted on my instagram story why do people do that like i just don't understand but um i am on my way back to the store before the snow starts because when we went to the super walmart last night they didn't have no fruits they had bananas and apples that's it but no fruits and I really want a fruit salad really 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 bad I've been craving that for the last few days so I must go to our neighborhood Walmart and see if they have any fruit because I really want some fruit y'all I don't know why I've been craving fruit like that but I am and I want it and I'm not gonna be happy till I get it <laughs> so hopefully I find some good fruit but I want to go in here and say hi cuz I am going to do a day in my life during a snow day you guys hopefully it snows and I get to show you guys like what it looks like or I mean people usually know what snow looks like <laughs> but yeah um and if the bread and stuff is empty if the shelves is empty at Walmart when I go I'm gonna pull out the camera and show you guys but I am in the car right now letting it heat up <clears throat> and um I will catch you guys later I didn't pull the camera out because it was a lot of people there, which is unusual for that neighborhood Walmart because it's usually not packed. But I mean, it wasn't unusual because the snow was coming and people panicking. But I did pull out my phone to show you guys the bread out. Y'all thought I was playing. People come and buy up all the bread and all the milk when it's going to snow. No lie. So I'm gonna insert that clip right here. But for the most part, everything was still sold out. I went to go get fruit, y'all guys know that, so I can make me fruit salad and no fruit. No whatsoever, and I'm mad because I'm like, why is there no fruit? They had like the mango and watermelon that they already cut up and put it in the little containers, but they wanted like $8 for that, and I'm not paying $8 for that when I can buy the fruit myself and cut it up and it's way cheaper. They didn't have none. And I, granted, watermelon is not in season. I understand that I wasn't looking for watermelon. But like, where is my mangoes and, and uh, cantaloupe and stuff like that? Like the only thing they had was guava, which I tasted guava before, like the flavoring, but I haven't had like the actual guava and I don't know how to cut it. And I picked it up, but then I put it back down. <laughs> Cause I was like, I don't got no other fruit. And they had strawberries, but Strawberries go bad really fast, and I didn't want that. And they had apples and bananas. And I'm like, 
is that all the fruit that we gonna get in the winter time is apples and bananas like can i get some other fruit <laughs> i'm so annoyed right now y'all guys don't know but it's okay but i'm gonna show you guys what i did get i ended up getting stuff for chicken noodle soup for dinner well i pretty much had everything i just got like the stuff that we didn't have and when i tell y'all the meat section was empty it was like one little section of chicken breast and that's what i needed <laughs> but i'm gonna show you guys what i got so i got some celery for the chicken noodle soup i i don't understand why you gotta buy this big old thing of celery i didn't need this much but okay it is what it is i got this to put in my chicken noodle soup if you guys have not tasted these boyans are better than boyans i heard you say it y'all are missing out really, really good season and i got athena some french fries i got this sticky rice for athena because these are the ones that is in the bowl and you just put it in the microwave for one minute and it's done but i haven't been able to find them nowhere and she loved her sticky rice so i got saw this in the freezer so hopefully she would eat these and for the chicken noodle soup i know you need egg noodles for chicken noodle soup and that's what i usually use to cook with them but athena is allergic to eggs and i didn't want to get it and then she have an allergic reaction but she can eat like cake and stuff stuff that have eggs cooked in it but it was like eggs like fried rice with eggs and then she can't have that she can't just eat eggs and the main ingredient was egg noodles was eggs so i didn't get that so i got these i call them bow tie noodles but i don't know how to pronounce this farfelli noodles i guess so i got these and their main ingredient is wheat so i mean that's their only ingredient is wheat so i'm gonna try these and then of course you need chicken broth with chicken noodle soup i have some broth here but i didn't know if it was chicken or beef and if it's chicken i'm gonna be mad so i'm about to check chicken you guys i also got beef down there too so i got extra i got chicken breast skinless boneless chicken breast and we just bought chicken breast yesterday, but we bought like a big pack and it's already in the freezer and it wasn't with all out in time, so I just got the small little pack. Uh, every time I go to the store, I have to get pretzels. I eat them like crazy. My daughter loves them, my husband loves them. They're so good. And I used to be obsessed over pretzels years ago, but I stopped eating them because it was like getting bland and stuff. But these, these pretzels, what I'm about to show y'all, and don't mind my nails. <laughs> Don't mind my nails, y'all. I'm trying to press on nails because acrylic nails like mess my real nails up. And I didn't put them on right, so they like started falling off. So I got like one left. But let me show you guys these presses. <clears throat> these right here is cheese curls. They're not the pretzels, but it's by the company Dots. And my husband loves these, so I got him these. But the pretzels I love. Yeah. The honey mustard seasoned pretzels. Bang it. So flipping good. If you haven't tried these, try them. And I'm not like a mustard fan, but I know when I go to Philly to visit my family, and you go downtown, they give you these big old pretzels, and they put mustard on them. So good. Try the honey mustard seasoned dots pretzels. You won't be disappointed. And um, they're kind of expensive. I'm not going to lie. They're like $6 for one bag. But it's good. But they do have the original one. We got these yesterday. These are the original seasoned dots pretzels and they're not like regular pretzels like these are so good i promise you but that's all i had got you guys and i hope you guys enjoyed my little grocery haul 
And um, I will catch you guys later. It has not started snowing yet. And it said it was supposed to start at 8 o'clock. And it is 8.17. But the temperature is definitely dropping. I was like freezing. My hands was frozen. So I'm going to put these groceries up. And I'm going to go ahead and start chicken and soup. Because I'm cooking it in the crock pot. And not cooking it on the stove. Crock pot. But I'll <laughs> catch you guys later. Bye. I'm gonna show you guys how I make my chicken in the soup. It's very simple. It's not a lot of work. Easy peasy. Um, I use a crock pot for it. You can cook it on the stove. I just don't like our stove in our apartment and I'm not gonna do that. So <laughs> I start off by, let me show you guys. I use this crock pot liner because I hate cleaning my crock pot. <laughs> I know y'all I take the easy way out of everything since becoming a mom so I use crock pot line as a lifesaver so I turn it on high you can cook it on low you can cook it on low for eight hours or you can cook it on high for four hours I just always do high and the first thing I do is clean your chicken you guys <laughs> I put my chicken in the crock pot and I would season it and everything so let me show you guys I need my tripod. I have a tripod finally you guys was in the room and my daughter and husband asleep so I'm not going in there. So I need to find somewhere to put you guys. When you clean your chicken, clean your chicken and don't. It's okay. So you just, I hate touching chicken but my tongues are dirty because I just used it last night. So I'm not, I'm not. I'm not this is a really bad angle. So I'm going to poke it. And I'm just gonna put it on the bottom. Okay, so this is the seasoning I'm using. Garlic powder. Onion powder. Black pepper. This honey garlic. Black garlic. It doesn't want to show up. It don't want to show. And then this better than boy boy yarn I was showing you guys. This is the roasted chicken base. So I'm gonna season my chicken. chicken broth now you want to add your herbs which is a bay leaf rosemary and thyme So this is how it should look. You want to add a lot of broth in there because this is soup. <clears throat> so I did one and a half and put it in there. Um, 
So I'm going to let this cook for a few hours. Oh, did not mean to hit the camera. I'm going to let this cook for a few hours. And then when that's done, I'm going to shred the chicken. And then I'm going to add in my cut up onions and some lemon juice. And then I'm going to add the noodles and let that cook until the noodles is soft. And then it's done. Um, you can also add parsley in there if you have parsley. I don't have, what? Well, I don't think I have any parsley. I'm gonna have to check. Um, and add as much celery and carrots that you like. I didn't add a lot of celery in there because my husband don't like a lot of celery. And I added the amount of carrots that we have left in there. And I mean, just season, 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 season your chicken because chicken is bland if you don't season it. That's why I don't like canned chicken noodle soup. Nasty. Uh, but season your chicken, season your broth. Even though you have chicken broth, you still need to season season your chicken noodle soup. Um, every time you come check it, taste it to make sure it tastes right. And um, then you have good chicken noodle soup. But I will catch you guys later. I'ma make me some coffee, drink me a smoothie, and watch uh, Last Kingdom on Netflix. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you later. All right, y'all. We came back inside from the snow. We go, did you play in the snow up there? <laughs> yes, she you did. did. Play in the snow. She mad. She started screaming and crying because she didn't want to come back in. But her hands is so cold. They ice it. Y'all see how mad she is? So ice it. <laughs> hey, that's a song. <laughs> but I want to show you guys my chicken in the soup. This is how it's looking right now. It smells so good. I'm about to shred up the chicken, put the noodles in there, and um, some lemon juice, and then let it cook for a little bit longer so the noodles soften up, and then it'll be done. Okay, we'll go back outside, okay? Mm. I took the cutest picture outside, so make sure you follow me on Instagram so you can see that. But we will catch you guys later. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Alright y'all, so it's been a minute since I came on here to talk to you guys. Athena took a nap, I chilled and watched The Last Kingdom on Netflix. I just want to show you guys how much snow it is now. I don't remember if I showed you guys when it started snowing or not, but... I don't know if you guys can see, we're supposed to get five inches. But to me, that look like that is way more than five inches. I don't know why I just saying that. <laughs> but it's still snowing. I don't know if you guys can tell. I do not like these blinds. It's still snowing. I don't know if I told you guys, but we did take, oh, do not mind Athena's room. I gotta clean it. But we did take Athena outside. Oop, that's dark. We did take Athena outside to play in the snow, and I completely forgot to bring my camera, but I did get some clips from my phone, like pictures and stuff, so I'll insert that here. And we might take her back outside. I don't know. Is the temperature dropping? And yeah, we told her we was later. Might do it today or tomorrow, but we shall see you guys. But I just want to come on here and check with you guys. Um, make sure you follow me on Instagram because I literally post on my story every day, all day. It's always something on my story. And um, if you want to know what's up with me, check out my Instagram. I know I've said that several times in the video, but. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Let me move from this dis dishwasher because it's loud. Good morning, you guys. So, this is day two of our snow day. And um, I was going to end it yesterday's video, but I'm going to just continue it on. Um, so, yes, I am about to make me some coffee. I just got to clean the kitchen, so make sure you check that video out. It should be out after this video. And I'm going to make some breakfast. Athena was up, but she just went back to sleep, so... She, her schedule is off. But yes, 
let's go and then I gotta charge my camera so if it dies in the middle of me making coffee and breakfast I'm sorry but yes <laughs> so for breakfast I'm going to make sausage and rice but I don't think you guys gonna be able to see it because my camera is used like battery light is blinking so it's gonna die so I will catch you guys later follow me on Instagram because you will see it on my Instagram story